Hey everybody, what's up? This is AJ and I'm coming to you with this video talking about the importance of pronouns um, when it comes to trans people. Um, our pronouns are very important to us and as our family, as our friends, you should make every effort to get our pronouns right. Um, you know, we, we give our family and friends some grace because it's new to them. It's new to us. It's new to us all. We're all learning. Um, but there's so much grace that we can give you, you know, when you continuously misgender us or you use the wrong pronouns, it can create not only a bad environment for us, it can also potentially be dangerous depending on where we are. Um, you never know what listening ears are around who may be transphobic and you misgender us and you call us the wrong pronoun and then all of a sudden there's an issue that could arise because of that. Um, our pronouns are just that. They're our pronouns. And I think people have to stop and really realize that for us as transgender people, our transition is not about you. It is about us, it is for us, so that we can live as who we've always been. It's not about you, but a lot of people, they make it about them, saying, oh, I, I, I can't do that. It, 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 I've known you for, for so long, and this is what I've always called you, and it's just really hard for me. Okay. Can you try? <laughs> um, you know, it, it, that's just a, a way of making it about you. Instead of saying, I do apologize. Let me correct myself and use your proper pronouns. That's it. And sometimes the situation becomes awkward when you over apologize. I'm not saying don't apologize. One and done. That's it. I apologize. Let me try again but if you keep saying oh i'm so sorry oh forgive me i'm really really sorry that's over apologizing because now you're forcing us into a position to say oh it's okay when it's not okay you know and i'm the kind of person that'll tell you you know don't be sorry be better because you have ample opportunity to use proper pronouns for transgender people who may change their pronouns. And I'm not saying everyone does. There are some trans people who continue to use the pronouns that they've already had, or they'll use all of the pronouns. In which case, you know, I guess technically if they're using all of them, you're not misgendering them, but still, you know, find out which one they prefer. For me, I prefer using they, them, theirs because I am non-binary transmasculine, which means non-binary means that I don't fit into the binary of male or female. I never have, I never did, I never will. So I cannot be a trans man because that would cause me to fit into a binary of male and I'm not. I am transmasculine. So um, I feel more comfortable using they, them, theirs because that depicts me. You know, I'm not in that binary. I'm not he, I'm not she. I am they. Um, and some people I've noticed, um, some of my friends have had a lot of problems with honoring my pronouns. 
um, and then they make it about them. You know, they're like, I, I, I can't, re I, I can't remember. Um, um, I, I, I don't know um, how I'm gonna do this. Like, what? Why? Why? Why would you force me to do? Someone actually said that. Why would you force me to call you they? And I'm like. I'm not forcing you to call me they, I'm asking you to honor me as a trans person and honor my pronouns, which are they, them, theirs. Just like you want me to honor you by using your proper pronouns and your proper name instead of calling you out of your name, out of your gender and not the proper pronouns. It's, it's just reciprocating, that's all it is. So, I, like I said, I'll give you grace and say, listen, I'll give you a certain amount of time because I know, you know, I just started transitioning last year. It's almost been a year. Um, I started my medical transition September of 2021. I've given you a year. Like, it's almost been a year. So, at this point, if you haven't started or have been trying to use my proper pronouns, it is now your choice not to. Which means you are consciously making a decision to dishonor me, misgender me, and disrespect me by not using my proper pronouns. It's been a year. You're making a conscious decision. You're making your choice. And that is not fair. And it's not cool. And, you know, I had to gently and lovingly call some people out on it. And that's another thing. It's not like I'm, I'm like, banging it into your head. And it's not like I'm yelling at you and saying, you need to respect my pro... I'm not doing that. I am gently reminding you saying, hey, my pronouns are they, them, theirs. Um, just make sure you use those, especially if we're out in public. If I'm saying it that way, I have some people who jump back at me and like, oh, well, that's just stupid. Why is that stupid? Respecting me and honoring my pronouns is stupid. Why is that stupid? Why is it that trans people have to be put in this box and be disrespected when it comes to honoring who we are? I mean, that's not, it just absolutely is not fair. But if we were to do the same to a cisgendered person, they'd react very differently. Well, I, that's not me. That, that you need to call me by my name. My name is, oh, I'm not, my pronouns are that they would react the exact same way. But if I'm not yelling at you and I'm asking you in love, please respect my pronouns. Then just respect my pronouns. Sometimes, depending on where I am, depending on where we are, it could be a matter of life or death. Like it really could. Because as I stated before, you never know what listening ears are around. There could be someone around who's very transphobic. And now, not only are you outing me, but you're putting me in a very, very dangerous position. So, please, just respect my pronouns. Just respect our pronouns. It's that simple. And if you make a mistake, correct yourself. If you make a mistake mistakenly, which can happen, don't get argumentative and upset when we correct you. Just say, oh, you know what? You're right. And make the correction, make the adjustment. It'll be so much easier and make our lives so much easier and everyone will be so better off. So, I mean, pronouns, they, they are important. They are very important. And I don't want to prolong 
this video, but I can't stress enough how important pronouns are. They really are. And I, I, I'll just be glad when people get it right. Like, you had a year. You had a year. Now, I know there, there are some people, like, I started transitioning at the age of 50. So, of course, there are people who have known me literally all my life. Not just my family, but some good friends of mine. They've known me literally all my life. So it's going to take a little more time for them. And the funny thing is, they're the ones that try the hardest not to mess up. Because they really understand how important it is to me that they get it right for my sake. You know, and just for my health and mental well-being. Um, but there's some other people who I can tell that they struggle with it. They're trying to be okay with me transitioning, but yet again, that's making my transition all about them. You know, even if you're not okay with it, you still can show respect for me and for my pronouns. And for my life. And for me as a human being. And a person who is asking you. Just use my proper pronouns. Use my name. And if you can't use my, pro my proper pronouns. Then yeah. Just use my name. Just say my name. Now no one has any problems with my name. My name changed. And no one has problems saying my name. So why do you have a problem saying my proper pronouns? So if you still have a problem with saying my proper pronouns, then just use my name. That's it. Just use my name. And if you still have a problem, well, then we have a problem. And we're going to have to make some other arrangement as far as probably not speaking as often or at all um, because I really, really don't have time to coddle people and baby people who make my transition all about them. That's not how it works at all. And I'm not going to give energy to that. I'm not going to stress about it. I refuse. Um, so, yeah, pronouns are important. People may think that it's, oh, it's just a little word, and oh, it was just a mistake, but you know what? Mistakes can be detrimental. They can be very hurtful, and you don't know the type of dysphoria that we go through when things like misgendering us and not using our pronouns happen. It is horrible. It makes us revert back to those feelings that we used to have about ourselves before we started transitioning. It's, it's not a good feeling. So in order for us not to feel that way, we just ask for your respect, for your love, and for your cooperation. Just use our pronouns. That's all we ask. All right, so that is what I wanted to talk about. Um, I went a little longer than I expected, but you know, that was just on my mind and on my heart, and I just wanted to get that out. So, I want you all to do me a favor and like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I will come back with more videos. Like I said in my previous video, I'm going to come and do a video talking about growing up queer. Um, it's a heck of a story. I guess that can be a story time, but yeah, I'm going to do a video about that. So until then, have a great night or a good day whenever you're watching this. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see all of you all later. AJ out.